Hello to all, it's great to have you back with us. In today's content, we will discuss some of the trends focused on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. It's not all rosy though. We have some good news but a reality check regarding the pictures that have been leaked online. Let's get started. But first, for all the latest tech news, subscribe to our channel and smash that like button. First of all, let's address the latest picture that has been alleged to be the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. After some quick examination and reports from our contacts, we can declare it categorically fake. This image comes up showcasing the device as its first ever hands-on presence. Please take it with a pinch of salt. Unless it is a model the grey markets get a hold of and other normal presentable units are excluded, we are inclined to make a guess it's a hoax. One big reason? The device shown in the picture appears to be identical to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The antenna placements, camera layout, and even the side button design have been all similar to the Z Fold and not the S series. Also, the absence of rear-facing sensors fits more with mutual designs of Samsung's foldable device than the Galaxy S25 Ultra that we expect. And now, news that will change everything. Samsung has announced that the Exynos 2500 will not be released. That is to say, a Snapdragon 8 Elite chip will be used in the Galaxy S25 series, and only that chip will be available in the S25 series globally. For the first time, it will be pointless to buy the Ultra variant to attain Elite performance in one of the models in the S25 range. The new Snapdragon 8 Elite is said to deliver 45% better performance and 44% better power consumption than the previous version. This is a great benefit for all the models of this series. What is surprising the S25 series will adopt M13 OLED panels instead of new M14. M14 panels are about 20% more power saving, but as Samsung seems to fully shift to Qualcomm chip solutions unlikely, they use M13 to probably save expenses. Next topic is progression. The upcoming S25 Ultra is likely to have a titanium side frame, which will be offered in black, blue, green and titanium colorways or finishes. While black, blue and titanium are all standard, green is a rather unusual color. If it's a light or dark green then that will still remain a mystery, more because I actually prefer the darker version for effect. Before moving on, here are 5 main reasons why you should be on the lookout for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This flagship will offer major progress with Snapdragon 8 Elite Processor 45% performance increase, refined display 6.86 inch screen however with a new frame. Camera upgrades The 50 megapixel ultra wide camera allows for better images. Better battery operating efficiency, the same 5000 mAh battery but power management has been enhanced. One UI 7 features new looks and up to security enhancement tools. This is likely to impact also the strategy of Samsung for chipsets with ever increasing globalization, shifting to Snapdragons only. In contrast to predecessors, which were offered with Exynos chipsets in some regions, the S25 series aims for fully standardized Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset throughout all regions. This is very exciting since it guarantees performance without variations throughout the regions. Are you looking forward to Galaxy S25 Ultra? What feature are you looking forward to the most? Comment down below. Hope you liked this video and remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates on technology. That would be all for today. Until next time, bye.